you know, all of our choices and all of our beliefs um, have, has an effect on our worldview. You know, our roles, our standards, and how we see the world all comes down to our beliefs. The belief is one of our filters on how we see reality. But the most important thing is, are these beliefs serving you? Do your beliefs help you in any way? And if you have a belief that is negative to you, it's probably best to get rid of this belief because it no longer serves you. So throughout um, human history, you know, tribes and groups all have different beliefs. And if your group or your tribe has this belief, you're going to take it on, just like us in our family, right? Usually we have similar religions to um, our parents, not always, but a lot of the time it's how it is. And I don't want to get too much into religion, but you can see how it works. Or if you're... Um, or if you come from a family of doctors, it's more likely you're going to be wanting to have that pressure to be a doctor. Not always, but you can see how the pattern works. So, you know, we all have different beliefs, but if a belief doesn't serve you, then maybe, as I said before, it's best to, to get rid of that belief and have a better belief to actually get you to your goals. And if you look even just in the fitness industry, bodybuilders, crossfitters, powerlifters, Olympic lifters, right? They all have their own different beliefs and their own uh, philosophy on how to train and the best results. And sometimes that can even clash for like the bodybuilders don't like the, the CrossFitters or, or, or vice versa, or the CrossFitters don't like the body, bodybuilders or whatever it may be uh, because their beliefs clash with each other. Or it's like a bodybuilders right after the gym, they're going to have either a protein shake or a high protein meal, right? And that's just what... Yeah.